Arts Driving Institute. Guys, I'm Eddie, the supercar. I've come on a mission to keep you safe on the road. It'll sound like education, but you will never get bored. I'll help you walk the mile. I'll save you from the storm, so you can run with a smile. Leave me, Mama. I am home, Mama. I am. Hello, kids. I'm Eddie, the supercar. Wow, it feels good to be with you. I love you kids a lot. Well, you know what? Because we are friends now, I'm going to teach you some tricks. Tricks that are going to help you stay safe on the road. Can anyone tell me the first three letters of the English alphabet? It's A, B, and C. A is for apple. B is for ball. C is for cat. But when you walk near a road, a, B, C means always be careful. So repeat after me, children. We are kids, we are teens, we love going to school. We all know A, B, C means always be careful. Superb! You have now learnt the first trick for today. A trick that is going to help you stay safe. ABC means always be careful. Now it's time to play a game. When you finish playing the game, you have learnt the second trick. This is Hamid. Hamid's school is just across the road. So Hamid has to cross the road to reach his school. But Hamid has a problem. There are a lot of cars and buses moving on the road. Because of this, Hamid is late for school. So today, you kids are going to help Hamid cross the road. Why don't you ask Hamid what he needs to help him cross the road safely? I am not going to tell you the answer, but I can give you a clue. It's the name of an animal. Guess the name of the animal that will help Hamid cross the road. Is it a horse? I don't think so. Is it a dog then? No way. It must be a cow. Wrong. It's a zebra! 
A zebra crossing. You know what, kids? You have already learnt the second safety trick. Always cross the road at a zebra crossing. Let's get going now. Bye, kids. here once again. Since you're all smart kids who want to stay safe, make sure you enter the bus in a queue. Disturbing the driver. He's taking all of you to school and bringing you back home safely. Therefore, it's very important to be quiet in the bus so he can concentrate and drive. So, won't all of you stay quiet in the bus and allow the driver to drive safely? Kids, would you guys be good on the bus? See those danger zones? When you are standing next to the bus, stay away from these danger zones. This is because the driver cannot see you when you are in the danger zone. If he starts the bus, you could get hit by it or get hurt. Remember, if you can't see the driver, he probably can't see you too. Once you get off the bus, take five giant steps away from the front of the bus till you are out of the danger zone and the driver can see you. Now, if you want to cross the road, wait for the bus to move away. Then, look out for passing cars before you start walking across the road. Don't run! Okay, now, sing along with me, kids! In a queue, we hop into the bus, for we are good and cool. We'll make no noise, no any fuss, all the way to school. Let's see what you've learned up till now. When getting into a bus, what zone should you stay away from? Bingo! That's right! How do you get in and out of a bus? A queue it is! You must enter and get off the bus in a queue. What should you do inside the bus? That's it. Be quiet. That's the right answer. You kids are really cool. I like you guys. I've got to go now. 
I'll see you soon, friends. Bye! Hello, kids! I'm Eddie, the Supercar! Are you kids having fun? Great! So, what was I saying? Hey, kids! Hey, you! Wait! Wait up, guys! You're it! It's your turn now! Hey! Wait up, guys! Talking car! <laughs> talking car I am! And my name is Eddie, the supercar! But you guys are really naughty kids. You shouldn't be running like that on the pavement. Why not? We aren't running on the road, we're on the pavement. What's wrong with running on the pavement? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Hmm. Let me tell you all what's wrong with running on the pavement. Imagine you guys are running on the pavement just like you were running now, playing tag. One of you accidentally shoves the other. Now do you know what I mean? Well, I didn't mean to scare you guys. I want you to understand that pavement is not a place to play. You have playgrounds and parks for that. Right, kiddos? Right! Okay, buddies. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Bye, Bye Eddie. And you guys, my best friends. What did you just learn? What is it that we should not do on the pavements? What's the answer, kids? Bingo! That's the right one! We should not run on the pavements! Okay, you smart kids, answer this puzzle. You get off the school bus and jump into me. You walk on me on your way back home. You don't run on me, but you walk fast on me. What am I? Pavement! That's the right answer! P A V E M E N T Pavement! Excellent! You kids are simply superb! Time for me to go! See ya! Friends, you know me, don't you? Yes, I'm Eddie. How many of you cycle to school? I hope all of you wear your helmets. Let me see you raise your hands. Oh, that's good. You know what, kids? Helmets are very important. And so are knee pads. They keep you safe if you have a fall. Wounds and scratches can be really nasty, you see. Riding a cycle safely is also very important. Remember to look for traffic when you're on the road. I know most of you like to show off your acrobatic skills on the cycle. Crowded road is not the place for it. 
Don't ride your cycle with your hands off the handlebar. Keep both your hands on the handlebar firmly. Taking one off only when you shift gears or signal other drivers. You get that, guys? Huh? Superb! It's quiz time! I'll show you some pictures, and you have to tell me which one is correct. Okay? Did I hear pick three? Huh? Three? That's it! Pick three is the right answer. Can any of you tell me why pick three is the right answer? Very good! You are pretty smart kids, you know. I'll take a short break now, but I'll be back really soon. Ta-ta! Hey, kiddos! Here's Eddie, the supercar, for you once again. I've got three pictures for you. I want you to look at them and tell me which one you like doing the most. Okay? One, walking. Two, traveling in a school bus. Three, roller skating. Which one do you like doing the most, kids? Did you say roller skating? Cool! That's what I was looking for. Let me show you something. What do you think would happen to this boy if he roller skates on a road? A. Win the annual roller skating championship. B. Set a world record for being the fastest and bravest roller skater in the world. C. Meet with an accident. Very good. That's right. He would meet with an accident. This can happen to anyone who is careless and doesn't follow rules. My friends, skating is not allowed on roads. Here, look at this sign. This sign indicates that one must not roller skate in this area. In fact, it's always safe to roller skate in the park. All right, kiddos, so tell me. Where will I find you guys roller skating? On roads? At bus stops? Areas with no roller skating signs? Parks! Yes! Fantastic! Sing along with me, kids. Skating on roads is just not safe. The payments sure are not the right place. Parks of the bus, spaces to skate. And mama won't scold even if the men late. <laughs> Keep having fun. Bye. little one, my name's Eddie, the supercar. What's yours? Hello, Eddie. I'm Shaka. Hey, Shaka. Is something wrong? 
You look really worried. Yes, I live across the road. It's really scary crossing this road every day. There's neither a zebra crossing nor a pelican box here. How do I get across? Aw, oh, don't you worry. Eddie the supercar will help you. I know it's pretty tough getting across a road where there is neither a zebra crossing nor a pelican box. So, let me make it simple for you. The first thing you must do is to stop. Then look and listen. First, stop at the edge of the road. Make sure you stand away from parked vehicles or bends in the road. Next, look for traffic on the road. Look out for buses, cars, cyclists, etc. You must listen for signs of approaching vehicles, especially when there's a bend close by and you can't see the traffic. When you see that the road is suitably clear, start walking in a straight line across the road. Remember to keep looking and listening. Never cross the road from near parked vehicles because drivers will not be able to see you. Remember kids, always see and be seen. Hey Eddie, why should we walk in a straight line? Good question, Shaka. You see, when you cross a road diagonally, the distance increases and you take longer to get across the road. Walking in a straight line helps you reach faster. And remember, Shaka, always walk briskly. No running across the road or you might fall and hurt yourself. If you think you can cross the road in time only if you run, it means it's not yet safe to cross the road. I get it. Now, shall we try what we just learnt? Yes. Before you cross the road, stop, look, and listen. Wait for the traffic to clear. Now, walk briskly across the road in a straight line. Keep looking and keep listening. Yippee! <laughs> I did it! Thanks, Eddie. You're welcome, Shika. Remember, always be careful. Bye! Hello, kids. I am Eddie, the supercar. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Who wants to join me for a long drive? I love long drives. Do you love going for long drives? But there's one important thing you must remember when you are in a car. You must have seen this in your cars. Do you know what it is? This is a seat belt. Do you know why you should wear your seat belts when traveling in a car? Seat belts help us all stay safe in case of an accident. So the next time, fasten your seat belts and also remind others to fasten theirs. Those who are eight years and older can use regular seat belts because you may have reached the height and weight to fit them correctly. But those of you who are younger than eight years of age are probably shorter and a seat belt may come too high on your body to be safe. Ask your parents to buy you a booster seat that can be fixed to the car's back seat. You can get a booster cushion if you outgrow the booster seat. If you have a kid brother or sister, ask your parents to get them an infant car seat or a child car seat. This will keep them safe in case of an accident. 
And lastly, remember kids, don't disturb the driver of the car so he or she can drive carefully. So kids, don't forget to buckle up. A safe trip is always a happy trip. Bye-bye. Hello kids, I'm Eddie, the supercar. I've made really good friends today. You are my friends. And that's why I want to let you in on a road safety secret. Keep yourself safe by being smarter. Learn how to read traffic signs so you know when to be alert. Does anyone know what this means? This is a pelican box and it has a do not walk sign on it. Look out for a pelican box when you want to cross the road. If you see a do not walk sign on it, press the button on the pelican box and wait till the green colored walk sign appears. When it does, you can get across. Simple. So, what box helps you walk across a busy road? Let me give you a clue. It's the name of a bird. Is it a parrot? Or is it a crow? Maybe it's a pelican. You're right, it's a pelican box. Does anyone know what this sign means? It has a bicycle on it. The bicycle has a line across it. Yes, it's a do not bicycle here sign. This means that the area is too busy and riding a bicycle is unsafe. This one is a one-way sign. You can only go in one direction if you see this sign. This is a no-entry sign. It means you shouldn't ride or drive into this area. This one is a no-horn area. No honk 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 here, kids. <laughs> so, shall we just refresh our memories? Here are the signs again. Tell me what they stand for. Hey kids, it's time for me to go. I had a great time with you guys. Hope you enjoyed yourself too. Don't forget your traffic rules. Be smart and stay safe. Always. Bye! young man. Hi, I'm Eddie, the supercar. What's your name? I'm Amir. Hey, Amir. You seem to be really upset. What's wrong? Are you alone? My cousin Abdul is in the park with his friends. He wants to play. He was angry with me. Oh, now stop crying. Let's go speak to Abdul. 
I'm sure he'll take you home. Hey, kids. Hey, you. Hey, I'm Eddie. Which one of you is Abdul? That's me. Hi, Abdul. That's your cousin Amir, right? Yeah. It's a busy road out there. You should have dropped Amir home. Amir's not a baby. He can handle it. Amir may not be a baby, but he's on a wheelchair. It's tricky crossing a road when you're disabled. It's very important to be kind to people with disability. Traveling alone can be difficult for them. They can meet with accidents. Let's see how you can help people with disability. Help people with disability to cross roads. Offer them a seat when traveling on a bus. Give them a hand on crowded pavements. Such kind gestures will help make them comfortable. Because you are fit and fine, it's your duty to help those who are not as healthy as you, Abdul. Yes, I must apologize to Amir. I'm really sorry, Amir. I should have dropped you home. That's okay, Abdul. Let's go. Thanks, Eddie. You're welcome. Remember this golden rule, kids. Always be kind to people with disability. Don't forget this golden rule. Time to go. Bye-bye. Emirates Driving Institute.